can lose a lover. But I cannot lose a lover and a friend. Because I am trans, I wanted to train my speaking voice to be something a little bit different because my voice used to sound like this. I wanted to have a voice that I was more comfortable with. I feel like my range of voice is me accepting myself at all angles. My name is Nat Puff. I am a singer-songwriter. I also go by the stage name Left at London. This is the range that I talk in and occasionally sing in, but when I sing, I also utilize my low range. I have this song called Six Feet, for example, that utilizes both ranges. The verses are like, Oftentimes I scare my reflection. And then the chorus is like, I know that you don't know me, but I know just who you are. Oftentimes I scare my reflection. I'm the only trans woman that I know of that uses both ranges in songwriting. Can I hear that back? I'm gonna be harmonizing over it. And even if it's more commonly stereotyped as men having that lower range, I'm not gonna let that bring me down because I know who I am. If I succumb to the stereotype, then nobody wins. It took me about two years to train my voice to go into both ranges in the way that it has. Because it's not as simple as just like talking in your lower range and then talking in your falsetto range because it sounds like this and it sounds very airy and it sounds very weird. You literally have to sort of learn how to re-support your voice in this range and that took a while. There's admittedly some parts of me that still get a little bit dysphoric about my voice. Like, damn, I had to go through all this training. And most other women don't have to do that. But I just accepted and moved on. And I feel like my music is better for that. I've had people come up to me saying, you've made me feel more comfortable with my lower range, even though you talk in your higher range. Thank you. People feel represented, which makes me feel happy that people can find comfort in their own voice because having such a strange relationship with my own voice, being that for somebody else is very, very special to me. I feel like as an artist and as a person and as a trans person, as every part of me, it's just embracing myself. <laughs> 